Aloha everyone, thanks for tuning in to this YouTube channel for Medicine Collective. My name is Mariah Makalapula. It is an honor to be reading for the collective. Thank you for joining me in this um, curious little adventure of seeing what the cards have to say for the month of head. Um, and yeah, those of you who are new, welcome. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Get notifications if you'd like, all that stuff that I think you're supposed to say when you have YouTube videos. Anyways, um, I wanted to just, yeah, give everyone an opportunity to take a deep breath and to get ready to receive what's meant for them because of the nature of a collective reading. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here and not all of it's going to be for you. So please be discerning with your own wisdom and with your own heart of what messages are really meant for you to hear and where they're supposed to be applied. So with that, I invite you to just, yeah, find a comfortable comfortable spot to be in. And if you'd like, I know I need to because I've already been talking fast, but just reach your arms up and take a nice deep breath. And exhale fully and completely. Welcome to my space. Thanks for being here. Thanks for keeping it real, keeping it respectful. Um, happy Black History Month. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm not going to go too far off on all of that stuff, but that is going to be um, an aspect of probably the flavor of this reading. So I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that I'm considering those things, um, but as a rule of thumb, I wanna see what the cards have to say and see what's coming up. So calling in all of our guides, angels, ancestors, ascended ones, and the whole team here to be a part of this reading and just asking for everyone to receive the messages that are meant for them. Thank you, Spirit. And yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I brought my singing bowl in today because I'm like wanting to have a little bit of a sound before this. You know I don't really edit these videos, um, but I don't know if you can hear it. I'm gonna try it again. This is my first time doing this on the video. If you guys know my space and the other stuff that I offer, you know that we do a lot of like sound baths and work with sound, um, work with a lot of different modalities and um, integration methods and healing ways. So anyways, that's just a little thing. I wanna hear what it sounds like on YouTube anyway. <laughs> um, a couple things came up right away, so I'll start with um, what flew out of my um, my mana cards, the deck here, and in the center, there's just like a great effort to be working towards what our goals are with the team, with the with the team, and to also there's like a, an influence of this sort of like needing to be very clear about what your intentions are so that you can help discern if the people around you are on board with that and if they're going to be a reasonable team member or if you know you're like not living in reality and just kind of surrounding yourself with other people who like ain't even trying to build what you're trying to build and that card is represented by the menehuni which are little people who are from the islands of Hawaii and they are known for doing like just incredible stonework. They work a lot at night. I'm not going to give a whole history lesson here, but um, a huge part of what this message feels like to me is about having the the wherewithal to really pursue your dreams and to also have the insight about who is surrounding you so that you can best be like motivated, um, learning the skills you need, um, supporting yourself in all ways 
to be reaching your goals and building what you what it is that you are here to build so yeah that was a card that's kind of coming up and it feels like there's a lot of people maybe weeding folks out weeding out thoughts like weeding out the maybe patterns of how you get yourself involved with certain friends or certain activities that actually aren't they're like like actually like not even in alignment with what you say that it is that you're going for and trying to do in your life you know like let's say you're trying to open up a food cart or a restaurant thing and your whole thing is your life and your purpose and your time and your energy is dedicated to either learning about cooking or learning about business or you know whatever it is like that are many of those steps to reach that goal that you have and yet you spend time doing these other things that don't line up with that intention with that dream and the this i'm a pisces so like i'm hella watery all the time but um the the like soft part of me wants to say be very aware and honoring of your dreams and then like take it to the action step where you are surrounding yourself with other people who are interested in either what it is you do or the actions of um yeah, just like motivating yourself. You're just like aligning. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's really not that complicated, I guess. I keep trying to find other words for it. I feel like there's something else that's meant to come out. And um, yeah, I think it's about purification. So like the whole aspect of purifying your life from the things that are actually outside of what would be in alignment with what you say you what you say is your vision, what you say is your dream. So kind of like stepping into the responsibility. Um, uh, there's like a word, yeah, it feels like dedication, but there's a word that's more like, um, yeah, the persistence, like the sweat and the hard work that certain things take when you see someone else that you admire. Um, there's a lot of things that don't just come easy for people. You're admiring the fact that they didn't sit there and watch Netflix every night and drink or something. You know what I mean? Like there's not, it's not that everybody has the like um, drive. And there's some people who have a lot of drive and like, I don't, I don't know how they do that because I'm not quite that way. But there's like the pull from your purpose from the part of your heart that like really pulls you forward, like the part of your creative center that pulls you forward, the part of your mind, whatever it is, like that part of you that is, um, that wants to live, let it live, you know? If it's, it's probably a part of your highest self needing to be expressed. So like, let your higher self live, stop trying to shut it down, stop trying to kill it and numb it and, make it be something it isn't you know um and that goes down to who do you have on your team it might be time to cut people out boundaries come up like i just see the word boundaries and i also like on the feminine side so i pre-pulled a couple cards just to like see if what i was already tuning into before i hit the record button was um yeah, like how it would be expressed before I hit record because I get super nervous when I do these So sometimes I just like it takes me about 10 minutes to kind of get into the flow That I'm just like channeling and talking this stuff that's coming out So I wanted to pull a, full, a few cards and see what those said and what they said was on the feminine side here um, is the frog and it talks about purification and getting rid of the things that no longer serve you. It's funny that frog would come up because, uh, yeah, anyways, um, a lot of frog messages lately. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to say that the act of getting rid of stuff, like I'm sensing the purging that is coming through like there's a lot of stuff in your life that needs to be purged and those are sometimes like it's always about us it's not about other people and I think that's where this like the menehune and the cards that are about like being in alignment with your dream 
breaking it down into goals, breaking the goals down into steps. And then what's that called? That's actually a plan. So for those of us who love dreaming and who love to vision, don't ever stop. But remember that the difference between some of those actually hitting 3D and landing and sticking, you know, is that ability to um, go fearlessly into like making goals, making steps, making a plan of how to act it out. And it doesn't mean you gotta figure it out all the all at once. It just, that's just what's coming through. And so in order to like get into that zone of making shit happen, I'm just really feeling like there's things that need to be cleared out and that is not necessarily about the other people, right? Like the other people who are um, your friends who are just kind of like, I don't know why I just get this, but like sitting around and kind of and just like watching Netflix and like drinking alcohol and just kind of on like they're they're in their own path. This is not here to judge anybody who needs to who relaxes in that way. This is not. But it is to say if you if that's helping you reach your goal then continue doing that. But if it isn't then it's time for you to cut the crap with yourself and like take responsibility for like how far you're moving in your path. Um, and there's a thing that sometimes when we like, I don't know, it like feels, so the other card that's on, so that's the card on the feminine side, which is like, I mean that with a lot of softness and with a lot of love to like clear these things out, um, to purify your, your vision as, cause it's a sacred thing to be able to, feel pulled to do something it means you're not numb it means you feel that there are you know there's messages in the breeze there's messages in your dreams there's messages that are coming through they are meant to be heard and ignoring them is such a disservice to uh to this beautiful creation that we get to coexist in right and just to throw it away like why you be doing that? Why would you do that? So clear out the things that are making us not let ourselves live in that in that um, timeline, in that timeline where we are going for the things that we value, okay? Um, and then what I was getting at too on this other side, I keep like getting distracted by myself because I keep hearing more on this side. So anyways, I'm going to the masculine side here and it is the swan card. And this is about grace and I'm feeling grace in action or graceful actions. So, you know, you, you're cutting out homies left and right or whatever, but remember it's not about them. It's about you're cutting a pattern of yourself. You're, you're cutting the crap with yourself and however that expresses in the outer world, right? To like everyone else or your way you spend your time, who you spend your time with, um, yeah, how you spend your energy, which is your real money. That's your currency, your fucking life, your time. The way that you are going to be pruning that and shaping it, be graceful. It's really not about anyone else being like, oh, you do this thing so you can't be in my life or you, um, have this is toxic for me or whatever it's more like I'm so excited about this thing and I'm dedicating my time to it see the difference between making it about someone else and and really making it about yourself it's it's literally like the difference between a loving act and a not so loving act and like kind of blaming or you know scapegoating other people in the way that they be living when it's really about you focusing on your fucking goal you get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm pulling through here. And also just for a particular few of you, things be feeling really overwhelming. Um, it is not time to be stronger. It's time to be softer with yourself. Let it go. There is not, there's no rush. If you can't enjoy the process, then whatever process you're in it it's not worth it you know you have to find the way to be graceful with yourself while you're in the middle of whatever part of it you're on you know it's okay to not know where you're going or what you're going to do 
And um, that is, I think, it, it's hard, you know, when you don't have it all figured out. But, like, that is remedied often by this kind of level of grace and about appreciating the beauty that you see around the world, that you see around you, that exists around you, right? Okay, not just that you see, because some of you ain't be seeing it. And the point is to look for it and to look for what it is um, more and open your eyes to it more so that you can appreciate it. And standing in that place of appreciation is a powerful place to be. And that is the action step. That is the card that came through on the masculine side. We all have feminine, we all have masculine energies, right? Uh, I think I'm doing the reading this way because this month I've been working really hard on balancing my own feminine and masculine energies and seeing like where they can hold and carry each other. So maybe this is for you too. It's been my healing and my part of my story here. So hopefully it is helpful. And I feel like it does apply to this reading as well. When you go out in your ac actions, when your actions come forward for your, your next, you know, like your next steps in your life, let them be graceful. Um, it's not like the most masculine thing you can think of to be graceful, right? But uh, but that does seem to be the power move here. That's what I'm seeing in the cards anyway, and that's what I feel to be the message here. Um, and uh, like I was saying, some of you have been really holding it together and really being strong and to take the space to be graceful with yourself and to soften it a little bit seems like there is a um, a benefit in doing that now. Um, yeah, something about timing, something about waiting a couple weeks. Give it give yourself time for things that you need to do and get it done. and and by like it, get it done. I think what I meant to say is um, make space for the healing that you're going through now. Make space for the healing that you're going through now. And wow, I haven't even shuffled or pulled any cards and we're almost 20 minutes in. Anyways, I'm going to try to um, get to other messages that want to come through. The thing that I'm picking up about healing is to give it the space that it deserves. You're not in a rush. There's not like some crunch of time. If anyone's trying to put that on you... Um, this is not for them. This isn't their life. This is your life. Remember that. To do anything less than that is pretty fucking codependent to be just frank with you all. So be careful of any patterns of that kind of toxic behavior, people pleasing codependency. It's not what you're trying to carry into 2021, all right? I take it we, anyone who is even aware of what that word means We've all been learning it. We've all been doing it. Maybe this is like some Valentine's Day message thing or something, but be very aware with your patterns and how you're showing up in relationship. Um, you know, try to shift those patterns for being, for bringing more integration into the parts of yourselves that develop those patterns in the first place. Give yourself some room. You're going to need it. It's not just like an overnight thing. It's not reading a book. It's not just praying. It's not going into one sweat lodge or one ceremony and you're fixed. It's something you dedicate yourself to developing the new pattern too, okay? Like spirit can take it away and heal it. And I do believe in instantaneous healing and change and stuff like that. But every day you wake up, you need to choose. You continue to choose those new patterns, those healthy ones. And that is... Um, I feel like for a lot of us, uh, it's putting our self first and the things that we value and being really careful not to uh, like overstep our own needs. It's kind of like this codependency thing. I don't know. Um, the fact that we need each other 
is really important. So don't go too far over on, I, for a very small few of you, I feel like this is this thing where you go too far the other way and aren't letting your heart be open to the love, support, um, insight, just all of these things that we need as community to be a thriving individual. We do need each other. So learn about yourself because there might be like so much fear to be codependent that you shut down too much. So that's kind of something that I'm picking up on being really careful about, you know, swinging too far in either part of the spectrum. What's coming in in the East? Okay. Yeah. Really using our decisions to be, um, clarifying and aligned with what it is that we say matters most to us, you know? Um, okay. Yeah. W choosing things and doing them that bring more joy to our life, that don't make us miserable and, um, understanding the blocks we have in our own heart. That's what I'm pulling in the South here. The blocks that keep us from maybe, you know, having all of these things integrated, like all the stuff I just was talking about. It's like, yeah, we're all, we're all trying. I know I'm trying. Everyone's trying their best to figure out how to be probably, um, everyone on the planet's trying to figure out their best way that they can heal. And so a lot of these choices that we do, um, are coming out of the need for safety. So understand where you are feeling a lack of safety rather than demonizing yourself for like closing up. Be like, wait, why do I close up? What is that about? And there's, yeah, I'm just seeing like, take the time to explore the deeper question. Where does it come from? Why? And when did it start? And like, what choice would you rather be making that would affect you like, would affect, would have the effect on your life that you're after. Understanding these choices, life is literally all it is, series of choices, one after the other, and it literally creates our life, you know? Like, all of these choices that we have to make. I wouldn't have this amazing coconut water if I wouldn't have chose to pour it in a cup and bring it over here before I hit the record button. And I'm really glad I did. My future self, which is now, is thanking my past self for doing this thing. And that's kind of part of this paying attention to the choices because you are the one who's going to experience them later because you be living your life. I want to address the word healing and I want to talk about uh, one of my first mentors. I'm so excited. I got to see her the other day and we discussed something about healing because there's all these like really funny words and things that happen in the healing community, especially the, the white healing community of where people like just be running with these terms and we've all heard it too much and like sometimes you just hear self-love self-love and you're and you're like I'm so tired of hearing that like how about just like any other word right people be saying the same shit over and over and over again and it gets annoying in the community that I that I work in a lot um even though it's mostly you know kind of fundamentally all true I I sense that like there's such subtle shifts in our um, in our collective in our planet right now that address the healing that we're going through and I want to address this one that's kind of about DNA and talk a little bit about how many people discuss these upgrades that happen in our DNA and this like being really super clear, being very like intentional and awake and all these things and um, and that that's healing. And I'm only quoting healing because I feel like healing is a very general term that makes stuff, makes this work sound like it's just this like cute little thing that we do and it's good. 
like a like taking a yoga class and you're like I did it I feel better now um it's a spectrum of things right it's like a term for such a broad part of our experience being human um anyways when you have like I think of just like a piece of glass like we're all born with a, a like beautiful crystal clear pane of glass and as we grow like parts break we you know there are different shapes that are made and our healing if you want to call it that is that like the really authentic part like when you meet other people who do they could do any kind of job they could be your counselor they could be your your um acupuncturist they could be your uh your farmer or the person you get medicine from or something like this but the special ones who are there it's not just because they're crystal fucking clear and do everything perfect it's because they've and you're and you're doing this too and that's what i'm saying is that they've built ways to figure out how to make a beautiful stained glass out of all of the broken pieces. It's not, the intention isn't to just be a plain crystal clear glass like maybe you were born with other than the other karmic ties and things you came in to this lifetime with. I'm talking about the life that's like happening right now and all of the things that have happened in your life, in our lives that have um, broken us, that have shattered us that have changed our shape in so many ways like even physically like losing parts of your body um but also emotionally mentally um and big time spiritually um the soul loss that we suffer from living and surviving in such a like broken system the system that we live in like eats the spirits of people and uh and never mind like the our hearts and what happens to them throughout our whole life so the point of why i'm bringing all of this up is that there is so much beauty there's so much potential to create beauty from broken stories and we need more people who are more interested in putting those parts together and creating something unique rather than going into some rather than you know doing something semi impossible maybe and just becoming a the like the day they were when they were born just crystal clear soul with no stories all of this stuff like that's not a dna upgrade y'all that is um i think a version of like some of the other darkness and patterns of the system that we live in that's very broken i don't know if everyone i don't know i kind of feel like i can't speak for everyone everyone has their own path a little bit but i feel that a lot of us can create more change by investing in what we want our mosaic to look like from all the broken parts of our story rather than fixing the story we can't fix our parents you can't fix what happened to you when you were little but you can recreate the way that you carry it and the way that you reflect it to the world and that's fucking powerful you know and that's what i'm seeing here in like the heart and the spirit that's those are the main um places where i am seeing these cards show up that are talking about Anyways, it's the Seven of Wands up here in the north, and it's the Two of Swords down in the south. So for any of you who care to know what cards I've been pulling, they just sort of tell their own stories. And what they're saying is about investing in clearing up your timeline by not trying to escape the ugly parts, but rather embracing them. That's real healing. Witness them and then integrate them and some people are like what is integration how do i do that is a big word i just want to heal and i'm like eh, it's kind of the same thing but it is a it is a process to have a lot of grace with and that's sort of what i'm seeing i'm seeing also a balance between a lot of the work that happens on the inner and the way like the little there's like the inner, which is like way deep inside, right? Like 
on your own kind of shit that you're healing and going through. And then there's like the outside, like how you affect the people you love, how it is reflected, how like your outer world is reflected to you back. And then there's like this little like gateway that's the membrane between them. And I feel like there's just like there's a there's a pull I'm like can't think of the word there's like a there's just a little like I don't know like a little like spark right where that membrane is that is like telling me to highlight that in this in this reading in this talk that's the part to pay attention to where does that work come through and like you spin and go out um Oftentimes, well, never mind, I'm not going to tell you guys that story. <laughs> but anyways, that may be for another time. <laughs> uh, this part where you take the inner work and you bring it out can be uh, nerve-wracking at easiest and also just confusing and, um, and really hard. So... Uh, yeah, but they're saying to pay attention to where that comes through. And I just also want to pull, to throw a couple things on here and see what comes up. So thank you so much. Hmm. All right, so yes, there's a lot of digesting. There's a lot of emphasis on how we perceive strength and some of you really still don't get it about the vulnerability and about the softness and that that is such a superpower and it's actually like I just keep hearing your saving grace which is funny because no pun intended but you have the grace card here this is like a big thing about being graceful and it's not just to other people it's to yourself so being really graceful with the way that you interact with yourself and I'm not just like riffing on like self-talk or internal dialogue, which is a part of it, but I mean like the actions, the like doing the things you know you need to do. Um, yeah, like you have an inner world that's trying to communicate with you and there's a world that spirit is trying to communicate with you like through the things you feel. Do you do the things you feel in your heart through the things you feel in your gut and through all these ways that spirit talks and um, if you feel like your communication has been off with other people or you're not being like expressing your boundaries or expressing your truth very well um, and you're kind of just like, I don't know, I feel like someone's like just kind of like swimming in it right now and be like, why am I so bad at communicating? How do I do this better? I think that one of the lessons that is coming up is work on how you're listening to yourself and how you're communicating just with yourself where you're like, I'm hungry and you're like, shut up, we can't eat yet or something Then you're just like, well... That's your communication style with yourself. And if you're not sure why everything's always so hard with other people, look at what you're doing with you. Uh, not in a judgy way, just to like witness the pattern. Because it seems like it's hard to witness in the one that's like out here. So that that's for a certain few of you also. Um, yeah, I think that like... There's also some folks who are really trying to build a happy and healthy home with a partner, with a loved one, and really like working on like grounding that energy so that the softness, the communication, intentional, like intentional directive, like direction, um, just being really clear about what it is you're going through being really clear when you don't know to just be like, I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out right now. Like that's clarity. Like if that's your truth, that's your truth. So really making, challenging yourself to be honest about your um, inner experience so that your outer experience can also be in truth, also be in reality. Anyways, okay, that was a whole like tangent it felt like. But I threw some, I threw some bones on this reading and I'm just seeing like, 
a lot of all this new stuff and I wanted to say that yeah on top of many of them um, or many of the concepts that are coming through one of the the biggest one that seems to want to be said is uh, just big influence I don't know if it's because I've been wearing lavender for like the last week or like what is going on, but um, the fact of the matter is that there is a lot of spiritual energy coming through. I feel like spirit really wants to help us be a part, like when we're like looking at our team for who we want in our business, who we want in our friend circle, who we want in our, um, you know, in our corner fighting for us with us alongside whatever we are leaving out like there's this huge thing that some of us take for granted because we're already if you're watching me you probably follow me on instagram or you've probably already are like a little in tune with this stuff but for some of so for some of us who are like in tune with that we often like will slip and take it for granted or get off of our practices so it's time to get back on those it's time to like go outside every morning and pray or go make sure every time you're making a meal you leave a spirit bowl. Like there's these things that we know that we do and we think we still do them but we're actually not doing them anymore because distraction, off the path, blocked vision in the heart, stuff like this, pain, trauma, you name it, all the shit. But it's saying that um, it's time to get back on that because that is our team right there, okay? So the ancestors, the guides, the listening, the making room for that, like those are number one priority because it's, why it's priority number one is because all the other priorities fall into alignment when that shit is taken care of, okay? So that's sort of what I'm picking up to. The love life, the marriage, the friends, the money, all that stuff, like, it isn't the number, it isn't, that isn't the, <laughs> the, the real like large matrix that we're all weaving in this web together is an energetic one. And so be sure that you're dedicating a time, um, the, the appropriate amount of currency into that, whatever that looks like for you, you know, like doing a fast, doing a dieta, doing a, um, you know, just like turning your phone off an hour before bed, like whatever it is that feels like authentically dead, like how you show devotion to that, um, show up because it feels like that is, I mean, it's almost felt like this is what was happening in January too, but it feels like that is just like a big message for the collective right now. It's going to be a weird year. I don't know if it's ever going to not be, to be honest, like, I don't know. It was a weird ass year last year, been hard. It's only going to continue to polarize and continue to illuminate the duality and the discrepancies between our, our experience and, um, of love and of alignment and, and all the things that pull us from that. So all of these things are highlighted and we, need to listen to them. I hope that this was healthy and um, motivating for you all. Um, this was not a giant call out or anything like that. It really, if anything, just felt like, um, yeah, just like a really great um, confirmation to continue to do the clearing exercises in yourself first so that the other things in the life, right, can be cleared too. And yeah, with that, mm, yeah, I do see a lot of love and sweetness in your life. Make sure that you're really taking time to tell your friends how much you love them. There's a lot of beautiful, intimate, platonic relationships we are in and don't undervalue those, you know, I know it's hard with COVID kind of stuff and like not touching each other and whatever, but make sure the ones in your pod, um, you're telling them how much you love them and appreciate them and just have their back and like however they're doing it, just like that you're rooting for them. Be sure to tell people that 
because we we all need to hear that we all need to know that our friends are watching us and that they we care about our friends mental health we care about our friends spiritual health we care about our friends emotional health and so you're like hey i see you seems like things been hard you know check in with them don't don't think that the best thing to do is just to like leave people the fuck alone and pretend you don't notice like that creates so much more shadow and shame and like unprocessed energetic debris in the web so be sure you tell people you love them and speak your truth and no i'm just gonna go off on all of my advice points but really um i'm gonna leave but i actually want to tell you that the other night i had this very very powerful dream I feel really weird sharing my dream on here but either way it's super like vulnerable um, but I'm sharing it because it kind of reminds me of this Menehuni card and the call to be uh, appreciative of the the love and the like chosen family that we have in our life. And if you don't feel like you have that, go out there and make it because um, we are all we are all humans together in this, you know. But I had a dream about these beautiful orca whales and it was like just such a devastatingly beautiful dream and it feels like it actually is like the animal whole carrier of all of the messages that have been coming through like this month so I don't have a card for it I don't have anything on here for it but I have like this message that came February 1st uh that was just like really really clear that um we need to we need to do our best at protecting our emotional waters and being um keeping them healthy keeping our physical ocean and waters clear and clean and when you are done watching this on youtube go nerd out on some youtube videos of orca whales because, yeah, I feel like just that's all of our message for this month. All right, there you go. Love you guys. Bless.